Wow, welcome, welcome. I'm, I'm glad we're here enjoying once again an evening of tea and chatting about love and how to maintain that wonderful relationship. And while we're doing that, we've eaten out a lot of uh, goodies that we made, cookies and pudding and all of that. And those are the little things you can do with your, your, your family. You could be with your boyfriend. Just have uh, some afternoon. You set a table. It doesn't have to be extravagant. And these are the little touches that can add spice into your life. Now, one thing that I want to touch about, because I know a lot of relationships in the past, and maybe uh, Sister Marshall in the olden days, I don't know if they would I would you safely say they were more affectionate then than they, now than then? Because I, I recognize that that was not a big thing in a lot of my older friends' family in terms of when you come on, you give the hug, the affectionate. Were you in your, were you, or that used to be hiding. I, I, you never I, see your parents kiss? No, at all. <laughs> that was, you said it? no. <laughs> no. I, I grew up on the quarantine with my great aunt and her husband. Mm -hmm. As a little girl, you dear and playing well, I was a little baby in the in the family at the time, and her children were grown, but eighteen years more than me, so I was the only little child around. I never thought of it because remember our our psyche and our, our thought power at that time was very slow mm -hmm. what a what a six year old would they would have thought about then. A five-year-old, a five-year-old, or a three-year-old could tell you no. Our thinking was not that fast. Mm -hmm, fast, fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, yeah. we have technology, of course. And yeah. technology. And you see kissing right. all over you right. everywhere. Yeah. So, a friend of mine, he says his mother, who's eighty-something, he'd be watching TV and the kissing. She said, "Turn that thing off." Because <laughs> close your eyes. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, my granddaughter said, "Ew, ew, ew." ew. So do you think we should add you have uh, more affectionate, is it a, a positive uh, to, to show more? it's a positive vibes towards a relationship. Because like when you went, most of our young people these days want this affection. You know that to show that you know what, you're, you're into me, right? It's not really like into you, but you just, the word but, I'm trying to use. But if you're showing all this affection, maybe the word will come. <laughs> but if you're showing all this affection, does it mean you're into you? Would no, you say because that's, some that could be all uh, 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 could be with a the affection, Yes. Uh -huh. Right? But some, the, I mean, you, when you're in love, you would know the person loves you. Mm -hmm. Right? So when the affection is there, you know, like, you know what is it? The compliment. Good, um, good afternoon, baby. How was your day? You know, it, felt, yeah. it feels real good to know, know that. The person misses you for the day, mm -hmm. and all you just want to come home and just see your face, give you a kiss, and say, right. "Tell you what's going on." So then, it, it, so yeah. then you actually know the person loves yeah. you, and it's not just now. Those things happen in the very part, early part of relationship. relationship so maybe yeah. I should ask you, how long have you been in your relationship? Well, the relationship that I'm in mm -hmm. at the moment, it's it's fresh. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> this month. Well, it's a new month. This month. Mm -hmm seven months first. Oh, okay so you're in your honeymoon phase. yes okay yes. wonderful but even that I'm in my honeymoon so that I, I face a lot of difficulty yeah but what I tend to do I'm, I never give up mm -hmm. because in a relationship things might be up and things might be down yes so it's like I said before it's like a building stage yeah you must start with a foundation and your belt and, and you actually that's what we were talking about earlier yes. is that uh, sometimes you may be in a relationship and if you people tend to give up very quickly to yes. see and sometimes if you hang around long enough that yes. relationship lasts because sometimes yes. we give up very quickly yeah mind you there's some cases where you should give up very quickly because yeah. you the, the signs is there a sister marshal was that old saying if you see something in the daytime the day, if you see something in the day do not take five stick to look for it in the night. Because that, in other words, what it's yeah. really saying is that if you're seeing the person to be a, a rock, can you will see, I tell people it, within about three months, you, you would be able to tell if that relation. I mean, I had a love doctor and he said a year because you're dating, but he was talking about dating. You must date for a year before you, you really get into even the sexual part, which is very taboo in this time and yeah. it, he's really was talking about that because he said give yourself a good year to check that person out and i tend to agree on that front yeah. but um 
going back to what you were saying about hanging in a little bit longer because um, tend to and even in marriages people tend to um, yes. give up a lot quicker especially in today's day oh mm-hmm. da, 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 da. I can't take he he talks too much he argues too much you know you that is why you need to get to know the person mm-hmm. before you go into marriage day. because everybody everybody wants to get married yes but then again you need to think whether this gonna be a long time thing or this gonna be a short time thing or if I'm gonna able to deal with this if I'm able to do that I sit down have a conversation with your partner well babes I don't like how you do this and if he if he change well definitely he's serious about the relationship but if he doesn't maybe he might come to senses you know and say man I need to do this off my own just like before said because not just women male as well too because they'll be like you know what I'm doing this now because I've been hurt mm-hmm. so many times mm-hmm. and I can't seem to like get connected to a person but I'm gonna try but people can't change your mind cannot change your mind no so they but would they, say if they're workable they would, and yes, doable they would, then they would there's nothing time. wrong with changing because yes. I do remember when I got married the first two years was great and then about the third year I remember just before and it like a system or so to and nil. And then by the time the seven year, we just roll into good times. Yeah. And it's like if we don't even think about but in the early years you might like, oh, maybe I'll divorce. But then after about seven years you're like, where am I going? You could never you got everything. But I think yeah. that's a sign of maturity too. Yeah. On another front. Now, Sister Marshall, I wanna ask you, what do you just do to catch a man? <laughs> I wanna hear it too. <laughs> Tell me what you do to catch a man. It's like if there's any tips and how to catch a man. Um, it depends on <laughs> that, that question is very um, deep. because it depends. It depends. I put you on the spot. No, it's not on the spot. It depends on what kind of man you're looking yes. for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Persons know me. I'm a very Bouncy. <laughs> I like friends. I like, I like my little party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take my little drinks shot. and my thing and shot and so. In those days, uh. and uh, I could remember, I had two suitors. <laughs> my husband mm-hmm. and this other guy. Yes. And this other guy, tall, but he wasn't dark, mm-hmm. but uh, tall and handsome. Mm-hmm. And big, you know, mm-hmm. very good looking. And so in the year from the yes people was some way but he's in tongue work, you know. And then I had my husband was dear wrong. Yeah, and yeah. He'd date and thing and that and he would pass by me. And I make decisions right away. Mm-hmm. One night we I we, we're at a little get together. Mm-hmm. This tall guy, and it was the night. It was like afternoon, like now, and it rolled. It rolled into the night, and we were coming down the road. And as I got to the corner, I'm living on a corner, and my husband was sitting on his motorbike, waiting. So I, I told him, I said, I'm going because. This is my boyfriend in front of the gate waiting. He said, go tell him that you don't want to see him anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh. I said, I can't do that. How could I do that? Yeah, you, me, I love you, I this, I that. Go tell him. And he said, I said, no. I said, I'll meet you tomorrow and I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Right? I said, I'll meet you tomorrow and I'll tell you. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I went in, passed my husband. We weren't married yet. Mm-hmm. And I went inside. And, I did, and then I saw, I heard him put in the motorbike on the stand. He came inside. And he sat down. And he didn't say anything. I was annoyed about that too. <laughs> say something. Uh, but he's an introvert. He don't yes. talk a lot. Plus he understands. And he, I mean. he just sat there and we talked and, and he brought nuts. He had nuts. <laughs> and it's the said, nuts that did it. <laughs> yeah. The, these <laughs> nuts in the, 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 the shell. Yes, yes. <laughs> he brought a whole bath. And so we throw the nuts out on the table 
and we start to peel and put in a and as fast as he peel, I just eat, I stop right away. <laughs> and I said, and I the sat nuts, down. look at that. <laughs> and I said, you know, putting that one in my husband's place. Oh, who you talking to? Who you thinking of that? You know? I use. All the little attributes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I made a decision. I went to meet him the next day. He was by the law court, see, because he was in the military too. And he said, I'm afraid of coming. And I waited, and then we went across to Denko and bought milkshake. And he said, so you tell him? I said, yes, I told him that I love him. <laughs> and, you know? And that was my decision. Yes, you made it. I yeah. made that decision, and I, and I found my husband to be a friend, a father, and everything, even though when he was a miserable, yes, he was still yes. a friend, a father. He was a person that knew his responsibility mm. and took care of them regardless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Regardless. Yeah. I am the one who sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I am the one who sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he understood, and, and the he, decision was the good one because we were. We were opposite. Yeah. When we were op opposite. Yeah. You're right? Sometimes when I started, you know, through yeah. tantra, you said, you're yeah. ahead and good or something. Yeah. But he and understood. Yeah. And he'll read his papers and he wouldn't say anything. Or if he's not in the mood, you come in and there's, you come in and you're not even saying something, say something. <laughs> yeah. You know? So it tells me, in other words, hold that thought there, is that you didn't have to do anything to entrap your husband no uh you he knew that you is what he wanted and in the end you you haven't had the two suitors at the time you recognize, I recognize that you. the quality and that's that's the other thing we will talk on at some other time is able to recognize the quality i tell people that really Choosing that mate is also like interviewing that person. Yes. When I meet a person, I actually sort of interview them. And as I told you, within about three months, you will know if that person really yep. is for you. Yeah. Uh, if you if you if you have the eye, some of us have the eyes, but we we just blind it. We say we don't want yeah. to know because mm -hmm. we this this the romancing is so sweet right. that we don't even want to know about it but yeah. you just know you just yeah. know if that person has the quality you know. or either that or you're just you know is who we are because maybe we're not all cut out to have that, that eye that said i'm going to you now who's a young woman out there who's in that arena i think i don't know you'll correct me that a lot of women now seem to think that they can entrap a man but how they dress because i'm and i want to yeah. hear your opinion on that because I'm seeing double belly roll over. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing Both sexiness tongue. tongue. Uh, I'm seeing all kind of mm -hmm. sexy looks. And I mean, yes, times have changed. Because yeah. it used to be the days of the long skirts and the can-can and all of that. But is that, is that a good, what would you say to the way you look? Is that the, the main reason for attracting a man and trapping a man, your looks? Give me your I'm opinion on that. that bring up that statement mm. again, because that is what I'm seeing going. Seeing that is what is going on right now because right. they have some men mm -hmm. that would just look at the female. Oh, yes, everything is out there. Mm -hmm. But some of them would think that I have something better at home. So I don't need. I just look at that, and that is just an eyes opener. But as a woman, we must respect ourselves mm -hmm. because if you dress that way, mm -hmm. you're attracting the wrong kind. Of Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because first thing I track a man, oh, I, he would just want a one night stand with you and all these things. And which in it doesn't make no sense. Because sometimes that one night stand to put you in a position where you, you can become pregnant. Mm -hmm. You might get some infection or something. So, dressing like, yeah, like those. That, yeah, that because way. I, I thought is either yeah. I'm out of tune. I, yes, I know I'm an old fogey. Yeah. However, I ain't that old that I can't recognize there's sexiness and and um I don't know what you're to me there's time there's time to be sexy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. They're, because not every time you're on the road, because people would mistake you for it. They would say, about, mm, she is nobody. She's those kind, like the words you're using right now. If I could use it, the dangle style. Okay, right? dangles. Yes. Uh-huh. She's like that. But if you dress like a woman, they would respect you. They would look at your quality. Yeah. So yeah, there's a time what, and place yeah. for everything. Because but I've seen some things out there that I'm mm-hmm. thinking, what is this? However, you have the men now who are saying, my wife is at home who is boring. And they want to try those same dangles out there. Mm-hmm. So you, you end up now in a bit of a, a, a dilemma. I, and that's why I, I'm going to talk to you now about uh, um, to keep your, your, your fire in your marriage. Because you have dangles out there. Yes, don't listen to the man saying that I have my good wife at home. They same this when you go play what you call a, a peep at night and see where they're crawling in with some of those same dangles. Those same men who are yeah. complaining. So you still need to. If you're married for many years, you still need to keep that fire. That is what I said too. There mm-hmm. is time to be sexy. Yeah. Because you can't be a wife and just, oh, I'm going to put on a long night gown because I am just a wife and I'm this. I already have the ring. Mm-hmm. But your husband come home in excitement with a nice, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah, laundry girl. and all these Go things, girl. you know. Yeah. That is, that is, that there is going to help you to keep the fire going. Yeah, yeah. So because what you have home, what you could see out there, you can see it at home. Yeah, yeah. And it's just he alone seeing that. And of course, some men are, no matter what you do at home, they're still greedy. Yeah. <laughs> or women. <laughs> I mean, mm. no, let's just knock the women. We yes. still can be yeah. greedy, no matter what you have. But that is, that is an exchange for love. Yeah. If you're in love, you won't even, even if they have a cute guy, he could be the cutest guy in the whole world. You won't even notice the guy. Because you know what? You focus on one person. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. Um, is our focus now um, because we everything is moving so fast to uh, you know it's a hustling world it's a quick world we tend to want to you know you want more you want we never contented anymore so situations are causing us to yeah. want to, to do more and have more and that is something you just have to try your best you know, I mean it's not as easy as we talk it yeah. But to try to contain or con, you know, slow contain. it down, contain yourself or talk to yourself. So on that note, I want to say, I thank you, ladies, for coming here and, and having some tea. Look, you, I should have poured you some more tea here. And um, <laughs> all right, uh, yeah. And um, thank you for coming and sharing with uh, with me on this wonderful afternoon as we sit and enjoy some tea and talk about love. The next time um, we will talk about something else because it's I think this kind of dialogue is very important and I ask you to continue to look for the show this will be on YouTube and and do check out the other YouTube video and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for being with us this afternoon It is commonly believed that all oils are alike. This might be true in looks, but not true in its performance abilities. So for all genuine Mercedes-Benz, Audi, Toyota, Honda, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Subaru, Nissan motor oils, automatic transmission, and CVT fluids, visit Car Care Enterprise at 43 Hatfield Street, Stabrook Dorch Down, and Performance Plus Service Center at 17 Durban Street, Breckenrest Dorch Down.